Hi there, it's Margaret Carey and Tinkerbell at Large, and Margaret Carey reading James M. Berry's original book that was written in 1911 to find out all kinds of new information about Tinkerbell. And here's something that you might not know. Uh, when I was working on the set, they had a big basket, uh, this big basket that you got in, and they pulled ropes, and you were supposed to look as if you were flying. And of course, it was a reference for the animators with the same feeling. And they came to me and they said, Margaret, uh, you're going to have to fly in that this afternoon. Well, I'll tell you, I didn't want to fly, but you don't let them know that because there's, I said, yes, Mr. Davis, we'll do that. So we came back from lunch and they said, oh, we have some news for you. You don't have to fly. I said, oh, oh dear, oh, terrible. <gasps> mm, you know, and the whole time I'm thinking, that's great. Well, the reason being is, and you can read all about it here, Tinkerbell did not fly like anyone else. She darted, she zoomed, she went around. And if you read it here, you'll find out that the trip back to Neverland took hours and hours of everybody flying through the sky and Tinkerbell got tired because she couldn't slow down. So she got into John's hat and she took the rest of the whole travel time to Neverland asleep in his hat. You may or may not know it, but you can find out in the original refer uh, the original James M. Berry book. It's on my text, uh, my, uh, it's on my website too. I'll get it out all right. It's on my website too, tinkerbelltalks.net. And I will see you soon and hit goodbye, blessing, and a whole bunch of pixie dust.